the question is 600 are to be seated and 10 benches are found to be less. Two more persons are seated each bench. How many benches should have been there? How many benches should have been there? So it's a content after question or more on equation solving. Content after question more on equation solving. See, there should have been some number of benches, but suddenly when they realize that there are 10 benches are less, so for each bench they put two people more. For each bench they put remaining benches, they put two people more. So the question is how many benches should have been there? How many benches should have been there? So I'll make it as x is the number of people to be seated in one bench. x is the number of people to be seated in one bench and number of benches should have been there is b. What I'll find out is b. What I'll find out is b will be equal to 600. What I'll find out is b, this will be equal to 600. Now because 10 benches are found to be short, so number of benches will be b minus 10 the existing number of benches is d minus 10 and each bench had two more people so this will be x plus 2 the number is going to remain the same so this will be 600 now you should know how to solve this so what i do is xb plus 2b minus 10x minus 20 will be equal to 600 that is multiply this with this this with this again this with this and this with this now because this xp is 600, I will cancel this out, this will become 0. You can also divide the equation by 2, so it will be b minus 5x minus 10 will be equal to 0. See what I want is number of benches, b will be equal to 600 by x or x will be equal to 600 by b. Because I want number of benches, convert your x in terms of b, so it will be b minus 10 minus 5 into 600 by b will be equal to 0. Now solving this it will be b square minus 10b minus 3000 will be equal to 0. Now you can use our quadratic equation formula minus b plus r minus root of minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So you get an answer for this but the easy way of doing is understand this this is a product of two numbers, this is a product of two numbers and the difference between the two numbers should be 10. If this is a product of two numbers, difference should be 10. Because it is 30 here, it will be 6 into 5, one zero will go with 6, other zero will go with 5. So it will be 60 and 50, because it is minus, 60 should be more, x minus 60 into x plus 50 will be equal to 0. Number of benches cannot be negative, so x minus 60 will be equal to 0 x will be equal to 60. See x minus 60, either x minus 60 should be equal to 0 or x plus 50 will be equal to 0 because the number of benches cannot be negative, I can take only this, x will be equal to, sorry, b will be equal to, I have just converted this, it will be b here, b will be equal to 60. So this is b, by practice you do like this. So it will be b because benches are required, b minus 60 into b plus 50. So b minus 60 will be equal to 0, number of benches that should have been there, is 60. The answer is 60. Subscribe to my channel. I will be adding questions every now and then. You can also become a member in my website aptitude.bsk.in. Aptitude.bsk.in. You can practice online tests there. Wish you all the best.